Well, hello again, and uh, welcome to more amateur radio fun with VK6CS. Just one last little bit on this uh, Kodan, this antique Kodan. And I think it's worth mentioning because, as I said earlier, um, people coming into the hobby, they'll have an F call, they won't have much money to spend or they won't want to spend very much money because they don't know if they're going to be staying in amateur radio. They might be able to pick one of these up at a hand fest pretty cheap and um, it's uh, it's going to get them on the air and they can have some fun with it. Now, it occurred to me that the sort of questions that someone coming into the hobby might be asking, other than how do you tune it, which was sort of explained previously. Um, is when you connect it up these connections on the back okay so you connect this to your connect this to your radio and you've got antenna one and antenna two and on the front you can switch this switch here switches between antenna one and antenna two and you can have a, you could have for example you could have two wire antennas you could have a whip antenna on this one you could have a, a longer wire antenna on on that one for example as you switch between the two you will have to change the tuning because the tuning won't be the same for both antennas um, if you were going to put it on a boat as i think i mentioned earlier but i'll mention it again in case i didn't um, this is an rf earth and this is the dc earth this is the front this is the chassis earth so if you don't want to connect this to your boat hull this is the rf earth and uh, this won't be making your sacrificial anode fizz under the water uh, with the dc current from the power supply for this um, for the radio that's connected to this thing now um you could if you wanted to um connect coax to this so you could actually where's that lead let's get that lead you can you can see i'm as uh, prepared as i ever am Press the record button and then start thinking about what you're going to say. Seems to be the normal MO. Alright, so you could have a coax lead. So you've got a PL259 plug on a bit of coax. And the other end of that coax, you could keep it as short as possible, could go to connections like this or uh, even without the lugs so you've got the braid and that one there if you if you were running it um, uh, from home you probably cut the, wouldn't have the lugs on it the wire would just poke in here now you probably want a lug on this one that will go on there and then you could plug that plug that remember you know we're only talking about you know six inches of coax here this leads quite long so I use it for something else um, but you could then plug that into the SO239 socket on your ballon and then run a ladder line from this little tuner up to a wire uh, dipole a balanced antenna. So you could use it for that. So you could, for argument's sake, you could have your, you could put it across there or you could put it across there, wouldn't make any difference at all. Um, so you could have a balanced on one and an unbalanced on two if you wanted to. Um, or you could just put the coax on you can put the coax on one so you'd have that plug and uh, just have a barrel connector on it and then if you had another coaxial lead going up to another kind of antenna you could then just plug it into that running coax from tuners to antennas is a bit of a fudge but it's widely done and seems to work reasonably well um, and I think that's probably uh, that's probably about it. I think that's the last couple of bits and pieces that you might need to know. Uh, that's also true for other types of manual ATU. You know, if you went out and bought a, a um, an MFJ tuner that only had a a post on it, you could have a, a little bit of coax going from you know the inner going to the post, the outer going to the the chassis lug, um, going to a two five nine which could either go to a coax off to an antenna or you could connect that to a ballon and just have your ladder line coming down to, to your ballon just behind the tuner. 
Um, so that's just uh, that's just a little bit of information uh, inspired by questions I've heard on the air from uh, people that are coming to amateur radio and they just they it, they just ask those sort of questions. You know, if you've got one of these tuners and it doesn't have an SO239 on it, how would you connect a coax to it? If you've got a ladder line, how would you connect a ladder line to it? Um, these are the questions that uh, I hear on the air. So um, just a little bit of information that uh, might come in handy for uh, for somebody. Well, I hope you found that interesting or useful or both. And uh, I'll catch you next time. As usual, thanks for watching.